Hello and welcome back. I am Wrathful Shadows. The first video I've done in a while. Some shit happened. But anyway. This is gonna be kind of like a kind of a tutorial video, but kind of like a first impressions kind of thing. Basically, it's what you will first see when you come to try wormholing. Since that's kind of like my aspect of Eve, I wormhole. I don't really do null. A little bit of low sec PvP. I have a redeemer now as well, so you might see some weird jumping about using cyanos and portal generators, maybe, at some point. So this is what everybody first sees when they try to do wormholing. They see a great big wobbling circle of different coloredness depending on which wormhole. This looks to be a C2 because it's mostly blue, a little bit of green. C1s usually have more green around about here somewhere. So, I scanned this one down previously, like about 10 15 minutes ago, while I was setting up fraps and everything. Also, uh, I upgraded my rig, so higher resolutions, and it might stop some of the weird editing issues that I was having before. Back to this though. I scanned it down previously, but I haven't been on the other side yet, so there could be a massive fleet, there could be nothing. There may be sites, there may not be sites. I am in my Cloaky Loki. It's brand spanking new. Somehow I acquired a lot of probes. I no, have no idea where they came from. Uh, I'll show you the fit at the end of the video, if you really, really want it. But it shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Anyway, onwards into the breach of they say. So you gotta be within 5k of a wormhole to jump through it. It's 2.5 for a gate, but wormholes are weird. And we also have the new transitions. New transitions, yay. It's like a gate, but better. Oh bollock, go away. Right, sorry about that. But anyway, first thing, descan. It uses your active overview if you want it to, if not, that happens, shows everything. Got the tracking camera option, which is separate from the C key. So if I press the C key, see up there it's tracking. Uh, it will track stuffs, but it's not lit up here. So if I do that, it will track it differently for some weird reason. I take C off. And it also takes that off, it's a weird option. Let's leave it off. So let's see, what's going on around in here? We have things to scan out. The new scanning system, easy mode, and lots of sites. This leads me to believe that no one lives here. Especially since hangars, which are the most efficient sites to run, money and death ratios, so there's a lot of them. Recloak quickly. Don't want anybody knowing that I'm here if there are people here. Because, as I've said before, no local. Don't even see yourself unless you talk. So, nothing on D-Scan. But since I've never been here before, I have nothing. So the first thing that you must always do when you jump into a wormhole for the first time, save it. Wormhole out. Save. Right, so that's bookmarked. I can walk back here any time. Always save it from the overview, because when you scan one down, and if you save it from the SIG window here, you'll land 8k off it, or thereabouts, every single time. That can actually get you killed, if people are quick enough. So, now you're in this big blue system, because it's a C2. Oh, you can confirm what it is by going to wormholes.es, or wormhole.es. Clicking the refresh button after you've trusted the site, and it will tell you all you need to know. Wormhole class 2, low sec, and another C2 static, so we could probably get a nice chain out of this. So I'm going to go from a day tripper point of view rather than live here in point of view. So I'm going to move away from the wormhole a little bit. I'm going to warp off to a random planet with random moon. 70, nobody goes within 70. 
but I'm going to bring up my people in places window don't click it yet don't click add location yet you'll find out what I'm doing shortly if you don't already know so now that I've warped off I'm going to wait a minute I think I'm a decent way away I'm going to click add location now I'm going to make a safe spot so then I can now walk back to that point and it'll be in the middle of nowhere and hello D-scan is an awesome thing so there are people living here so now that we know this we need to know if these ships are just there floating or if there are actually people in them so I switched over to my other overview the names are misleading uh, this one shows control towers and cans and stuff because sometimes people like to anchor cans around the outside of these bubbles so that when I land on it it will decloak me, the tower will see me and horribly murder me but it doesn't look as though that will be happening today switch to my everything overview just to make sure it also shows me everything they have on the pause not it doesn't really matter that much but it does look as though it's a manufacturer pause builds things and the ships around it would suggest so but it doesn't look as though there's any cans around so I shouldn't get decloaked emphasis on the word shouldn't so now I'm gonna try and find out where the pause is now descan is set to its maximum range at the moment if you type in a load of nines it will default to that and then you've got the angle around your ship the point of view is corresponds to this so if I go to 180 it shows me from left to right 180 degrees in front of my camera and then go down the varying increments so I'm going to try and slowly find where this pause is so now I know that it's somewhere this used to tell you what angle it was at but doesn't seem to want to do that anymore hmm, never mind so I know it's somewhere around here so that could be that planet or that one maybe that one over there dial it down again it's definitely now one of those two and again I get nothing so that means there's that D scan is now in the middle where the sun is so if we use tracking camera to move over there it's not that one move over there it's not that one either so it could be that one bingo so now I know it's that one I'll go all the way down to the minimum which is five degrees take active overview off so it shows me everything and of course because this one wants to be a bit of an arse there are lots of moons Pauses can only be anchored around moons so it's one of these let's go to moon one see if they've been boring and not so paranoid as you should be now I bookmark safe on the way in so I can walk back to that if something horrible happens I don't think they know I'm in the system because they shouldn't have been on D-scan from where I were was rather so keep D-scan at 5 degrees for the moment don't think it's a planet 1 so they've been slightly inventive It's a very scenic, very scenic for Eve. So now it's not a plant. It's not at 11 a year. So now I just kind of descan around again. That's useful. Now I know that the warp disrupting bubble is not around the pause. Just go around until I find the pause. Keep going around. find it eventually there we go hmm this moon's very very close but it's not that one I went straight down to 5 degree which is kind of silly Let's see if right so it's 
13, 14, 6 or 9. So it's not 6 or 9. That's just obnoxious. And because my memory is absolutely crap, I can't remember what we added down to a minute ago. Moons. Right. I thought we decided it wasn't six or nine, but apparently I was wrong. Six or nine. Let's go for six. Always go to within a hundred if you don't want to land directly on a pod or a structure. Sometimes you still do. But as everything in EVE, as soon as you bolt it, it's dead anyway. Got a good feeling. Yeah. It was at Moon 9. Since I'm warping from around moons, I shouldn't land on top of it. So there are two transports and that's about it. And the music has got really creepy in wormholes. Usually I play with Eve with the sound off. Holy mother of god. Well that's definitely a leave us alone pause. Wow. I've never seen so much junk around a pause before. Anyway, the crane and the Viator are unmanned because the names are Crane and Viator instead of a pilot name. But we can do that, see who's last in it. Intel is king. It's an eight member corp, nothing to be worried about. Research subsidiary, eh? No alliance. Tantalus Industries. I'm not too worried. So now we know that there is nobody in here but us. Well, that we can see. So now we would be free to show the anomalies. Run all of these really, really tasty looking sites. My low key can't do it because simply just scouting and light killing of things but now you could go back to wherever you were or if you have a ship that's capable of scanning plus do running sites you can do that this video has been going on for a while so I'll probably end it here but there will be more coming if I don't you know disappear off the face of the YouTube again of the YouTube yeah that makes slight sense right so I'm Wrathful Shadows, this has been what you will first see when you hit a wormhole. Have fun.